Our ultimate goal is to win the Ivy League title, and so, you know, we do have to deal with the disappointment of not winning the Ivy League title when, once again, I thought we had a great shot at it. I have enormous pride also that we dealt with our disappointment and finished strong. Um, and where we wanted to be at the NCAA tournament, just the, the ability to practice as well as we practiced and to stay together as well as we stayed together for the WNIT and win a, a first game against an incredibly talented Iona team. Um, and I felt we, you know, had a great showing against Rutgers. Again, I, we're dealing with a disappointment because we all felt we had an ability to upset Rutgers. Coupled with the disappointments is some pride about what some of a lot of our achievements. I'm very proud of all of our milestones that we had this year, from you know beating Pete Carroll's record um, of all-time wins. I'm you know where I don't usually pay a lot of attention to that. Um, I do have pride because I think he is you know tr has been and was tremendously successful, and the fact that I've lasted this long and was able to break that record is certainly a source of pride. I'm even more proud that we have 600 wins as a program. You know, I think that sustaining our dominance in the fact that we're a contender every single year, even in the years we don't win the title, you know, I think that is something that I'm very, very proud of, something that my alumni are very, very proud of. This group of young women were, from my point of view, one of the most incredible teams to coach. I just loved going to practice every day. They loved going to practice every day. They came early, they stayed late, they worked hard. A lot of the individuals reached some of their all-time best statistically. Um, and so that just validates how hard they worked. And, you know, I, I, will, I will keep going back to figure out, you know, what we really could have done to have prevented that Penn Princeton weekend here at home. Um, that being said, um, in the bigger picture, uh, it's a remarkable group of student athletes who worked incredibly hard, stayed together, played unselfishly. We have an incredible uh, nucleus of veterans coming back and again some of our injured players who were not able to play as well as they could this year or if at all will be back with us next year and so I, th I think once again we will be a contender and we're very excited about next year. As a coach you just love to coach a player like Christine Clark and Tebby, Temi Feg Benley um, and the inside outside punch is you know was always a challenge for our opponents to figure out a way to stop either one of them and, and basically without giving up something big no one really was able to actually stop either of them. Um, so, you know, we lose Clarky this year, that's, you know, I'm going to meet with each and every player coming back and say, all right, who's going to fill Clarky's shoes? We have Temi coming back and um, I think for the first time in her career she was healthier at the end of this year than she's ever been. And again, that leaves us great hope. She's going to compete for Great Britain this summer, so that means she's healthy enough to do that where she hasn't been. Um, and so we're really excited about the experience she'll get doing that and then what she's going to be able to do for us next year. This is a senior class that we're really going to miss and each one of them is so very different than the other. Looking from the outside you would say Harvard's going to you know, drop way down and they lose a lot and I would say that these four seniors have left us a great legacy and have been great role models for players just waiting in the wings to step up.